What's up? This is Peter, also known as July K, doing my eighth vlog. Today, Adam is here, so we're going to talk about the homeschool rappers. Plural. That's what I said. Alright, um. Do I get some vloggles? Do you want some? Yes. So, first, we are going to talk about. The homeschool raps. That is correct. We originally came up with the idea. I was struck by inspiration one morning. Yeah, actually, it was my idea. Completely my idea. Yep. Yeah, so I don't know. It, uh, I was just like, well, you know, people always make fun of homeschoolers. Uh, we should make a rap about homeschooling, debunking some of the myths about homeschooling. We ended up, the first time, we put it to the tune of uh, Chingy's Right There. Right There by yeah. Chingy. Oh, this is how we do it at home. At home. Yeah, you public school kids, we always own. Always own. And I could do like, like uh, graffiti that was all about homeschooling and stuff. So the way I did it was I took a bunch of like uh, wrapping paper from like, uh, like construction sort of wrapping paper for sending the packages and uh, just bought a big roll of it, rolled it out, and just taped it up, like panel after panel, and then just spent a whole afternoon just painting my own like sort of graffiti. Originally, this video was supposed to be for our graduation. That's yeah. why in the beginning it addresses the homeschool graduates of 2010. We expected it to like a lot longer than it actually took to make, so we were gonna just hold on to it until graduation, but we thought it would be better if we Got it up there. So we had to remix it for the actual graduation because everybody had already seen the original. So we made From it. our homeschool group. So it would have been old news to just play it again. When we recorded the first time, we recorded it with the camera audio and everything, and we did not know how to rap well yeah. at all. It was, in we fact, still here, don't. still don't know. We're not the best rappers. This is what it was like the first time. We were at the library one day, reading books. Some public school kid was watching us, shooting looks. He came over and said, We were at the library one day, reading books. Some public school kid was watching us, shooting looks. He came over and said, You got this. Pretty bad. Yeah, it was just awful. <laughs> Audio editing, I did all the editing in uh, Movie Maker and put it in. There are a lot of deleted scenes like this one. To, uh. Gangsta. Yeah, like, provocative. But, uh,. <laughs> But the second one, we actually made two versions. The yeah. first version was with a different song called Lil Get John's Low, Get Lil John's Get Low. And we had a bunch of like back vocals and everything. Yeah. And it was just very... This playlist. is what it sounds like. Let's go! Well, this is how we do it at home. At home. Yeah, you public school kids, we always own. Always own. Yeah. It was pretty gangster and uh... High-pitched bell yeah, or whatever. Yeah, like a whistling or... Yeah, like, like that whistle. Like a, yeah, it is a whistle in the background. Actually. Which, it does get pretty annoying. It's true, after a while if you're listening to it. So we ended up remaking it and incorporating all our fellow graduates in it. Those are all the people that you see in there. But uh, we started using auto-tune in the next one. Not legitimate auto-tune, but the auto-tune in GarageBand. Which, uh, pretty much you have to be pitch perfect for it to correct the right note. It's it's not a very good so... version of auto-tune. And uh, so this is what the GarageBand project looks like. It's pretty huge. A lot of stuff went into it. So, our mom is our teacher, our dad our principal. They taught us all we know from the Holy Bible. And I ended up actually editing this and filming up until the day of graduation. So there were two people who actually weren't in the video up until that point because they, they were busy. So we grabbed our roll of graffiti, slapped it up outside, and just filmed them for about 10 seconds. It was pretty much always in our car. Yeah. Because we never knew when we were going to run into someone yeah. for our graduation. So yeah, for that one scene where um, we sung the chorus into the microphone. So we do it at home. At home. You public school kids. That was not a real microphone, if you couldn't tell. It looks pretty real, I'd say. The way I did it was I took aluminum foil and shaped it into the general shape of this part of the microphone. Then I wrapped it in Sculpey clay. Then I took a matchstick and depressed these parts in here. And then I drilled a little hole here and put a little screw in there to make it look more metallic and real. And this stuff to make it look black, I just, uh, cut up some uh, cloth and then glued it in there. Then I took a an old, yeah, curling iron. And I took the curling iron part off and just used the handle with the switch and everything. 
This is the original cord, wasn't it? No, this no. isn't. This is a new cord. Some speaker cord my dad had. So overall, I think it turned out really well. After after all that was done, I just painted it all a uh, good metallic silver color. But uh, so this is what it looked like when we played it at our graduation. Homeschoolers have the misconception about them that we are awkward, <laughs> we are strange, anti-social. And we smell. No, <laughs> no, we don't. But those are some misconceptions about us. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce a quick video to show you how some of these misconceptions can be false. Kyle did an awesome job introducing the homeschool graph. Major props to him. I was not expecting him to be that good of a public speaker. He did really well. All right, well, that is it for this vlog. It has been Peter and Adam, also known as the Jalad K crew. Not really, that's no one calls us that. <laughs> but um, we are signing off. We got 10 seconds left. Do you want to say something before we? Uh... No. Okay, no. No. We just went and showed you how it's done. How it's done. Hey now, man, why you- that's me! Oh.